Hi everyone, Rich Crescenti here with another in our series of videos using Melodyne to solve everyday problems. And today we're gonna to be dealing with background vocals. Now with background vocals, it's very important that they match the lead vocal in terms of phrasing and timing. We want them to blend enough, but also stick out enough as well. And Melodyne is an excellent tool for editing those changes. Now, in order for us to understand how best to do that, there's a couple things we got to cover first, and that's mainly how Melodyne lets us look at certain tracks and how it allows us to listen to certain tracks as well. So starting off in the info pane on the left-hand side, we see our background vocal is selected, giving us these orange blobs right here. These orange blobs tell us a lot of information. For example, it tells us it thinks this note is an F sharp. It tells us where the note starts and stops. It tells us the relative amplitude but I wanna point out this thin line going through. Melodyne, this is actually the pitch that is being sung or played at any given moment. For example, we see a little vibrato, we see this note swinging up into the note right here as well. Okay, now since we wanna edit our background vocals to match our lead vocals, we should be looking at those as well. Now, Melodyne makes this easy. I can shift click on our lead vocal, and now we're looking at both of them. This is great, it makes it easy to edit more than one track at once. However, with two tracks open on orange blobs, it can sometimes be tough to tell which one you mean to edit. And this is where our gray blobs come into place. Over here on the lead vocal, I'm gonna click on the gray blob, and we see that gray blobs only give us visual information. They cannot be edited. So this is really nice when you wanna edit one track and only wanna use the other as a visual reference. Additionally, switching back and forth is very easy. If I come to my lead vocal and click on orange blobs, the background vocal switches to gray. Alternately, if I double click on the background vocal, it's now the orange blob and we can edit that as well. So I wanna also point out that there is a piano in this track that we are not looking at. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because Melodyne gives us a useful way to listen to various tracks, and that is with this editing mix right here. This slider allows us to decide what we want to listen to. When it's all the way to the left, we will only hear the orange blobs. As I move it towards the center, the gray blobs will fade in. And then as I move from the center to the right, all the tracks we are not looking at will fade in as well. Watch this example. Great. So an easy way to fade the various tracks in and out while still focusing on the background vocal that I'm trying to pay attention to here. And since I'm working within a DAW, I can easily also just press play in Pro Tools and hear the whole track. So lots of control of what I want to listen to at any given moment. Now, as we said, we're trying to tighten up the timing of this background vocal today to our lead vocal, which means a lot of using this timing tool that I'm using right here. And it gives us some flexibility. So check this out. If I focus on all of these notes, I can easily grab them and move them like so, or I can double click on them to quantize them right to the beat. But in this case, I'm not interested in quantizing them right to the beat. What I wanna do is tighten up the timing of those compared to the lead vocal. So instead of double clicking on them, moving the whole thing, what I'm gonna do is zoom in on them and make sure that the starts and stops and transitions are all at the same time. So I noticed I want this to start a little bit earlier and just as I scroll through, I'm gonna make sure that this note also starts a little bit earlier, right where the transition is right there. I'm gonna scroll through and notice there's a little break right here, so I'm also gonna make this break start at the same time as that one and I'm gonna make this break start at the same time as that one, and so on through this whole vocal. There's a break right there, but I'm not worried about that one. This transition I want to happen at the exact same time. This transition I want to happen at the exact same time. This one, I'm gonna stretch this one out all the way to the end right there. And finally, we come to the end. Now, there's one thing I wanna point out real quick right here, and that is that the gray blobs don't show us pitch. So I'm gonna temporarily switch to showing us orange blobs on both because the lead vocal, that pitch line extends out right there and I want that background vocal to match it. No problem at all, I can just grab it and 
stretch it out so that they both sort of dip down at the end of that pitch at the exact same time. Okay, so now I can zoom back out over here and take a look at our vocal and we can listen to it and check the timing. Call me a rebel, call me a hell yeah. Now these were not in bad shape to begin with, however I have tightened up that timing quite a bit right there. Now there's a couple of other things that I want to deal with and that is our attack time and our time handles. These give us even more control over how the note swells in and also the different timing of various phrases within the note. Those are available under the timing tool as well. The first one I want to deal with is our time handle. This allows us to insert this in and then stretch out one portion while shortening the other. For example, if I want to make these two vocals swing up at the exact same time, I can set it like that so that both of our singers swing up into the note. And then I can come over here to my attack speed tool and speed that up just a little bit. Take, go back to our timing tool, start it just like that. And now we've got both of our singers swinging up into that note at the same time. Let's give it a listen. They both swing up into that note at the exact same time right there. Excellent tools for tightening up our background vocals. Hope you've enjoyed.